Welcome everyone to Pivotal Stats, where we talk about data analysis techniques, business intelligence platforms, and much, much more. So let's go. Hey everyone. So up until now, we were covering a lot of visualization tips and tricks that we can do in Power BI. And we looked at many charts and visualization that are there in this visualization field. But there is an important field here, which we have not covered yet, which is called drill through. Now, what is drill through? Basically, what it does is it gives the user an option to drill through a particular column or its visualization and it takes them to a different page or a different report which drills down that particular metric that user has selected. And let me show you how this is done. So again, we are going to use the happiness data index. Links will be in the description in case you want to download the data. Now, what I have here is a chart which contains the average rank for each country. And what I want the users to be able to do is to come here and drill through this visualization to go to a different page, which have a whole new level of visualization available there. And I want that because I might not have sufficient real estate on this page to incorporate all those views. So I'm going to create a new page here by clicking on this plus icon. And here, just to keep things simple, I'm going to choose table view. And within that table, I'm going to choose country and I'm going to choose the rank columns for each year for a particular country. What I want to do is I want the user to have the ability to come here on this page and then drill through from this page into this page, which is page two to view the exact country the user filtered from this page. Okay, so click on this page, which is the destination page for me. And in this, I'm going to add a field to this drill through field here. Okay, so I'm going to drag it drag the country here into this field and you don't have to change anything else keep everything as default the moment i added something here power bi automatically added a back icon here this is so that when user navigates onto this page the user can go back to the original home page so i'm going to go back to page one now if i right click anywhere on this let's select belgium here i'm going to right click here and the moment I right click, a new option has added to this right click menu, which is called drill through. Now in the drill through, it's showing me the page name of that destination page. Okay, so I'm gonna, I can click here and it will take me to that particular page. And it will also filter down on the exact country that I chose in this case, Belgium. Okay, and the user has this back again as well, which they can click to go back to the original page. Now remember when you are adding the field inside this drill through option, add it in your destination page, not on your source page. Okay. If you see my, my source page is empty here, but when I come to my destination page, it contains that country field. Similarly, there's another option, which is called cross report enables the user to navigate between multiple reports. Now this feature works when your power BI is published onto the services, but before publishing, you need to ensure that your destination, let's say this report is your destination report. You need to turn this cross report toggle on. Okay. And you come to the file menu here, go to options and settings, click on options. And in the new prompt, come to the current file section and go to report settings. And in this, you'll find an option called cross report drill through. You just need to turn this on and press okay. And similarly go to the source report, right? And in the source report, do not turn this on. Okay. Do not turn this on. You need to turn this on only in the destination report, not on the source report. So the cross report toggle button stays off for the source report. Okay. But the file menu changes that you did will be done for both the files, both source and destination. And once that is done, user will be able to navigate from your source report in your Power BI services to the destination report. And one more important thing to note is when you're publishing a report to use as a cross report, you need to publish it in the same workspace. If it's published on a different workspace, then it will not work. So keep that in mind. So that was a short video on drill through options that are available in Power BI. Next, I will be covering a topic called bookmarks. So stay tuned for that. That is an interesting topic. If you're liking my content, then please consider subscribing to the channel. That will really help me out. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.